Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the fourth video on introduction to Laplace transform and here we will be solving two problems related to periodic signals. The tables I uh, just reproduced for your reference, this is the Laplace transform pairs and the properties of Laplace transform and also the properties of Laplace transform. So we will be using some of the properties. Now let's solve example 15.6. Calculate the Laplace transform of the periodic function. This is the periodic function, sort of function. Now first of all, we determine the time period of the function. You can see it is starting from here and then ending at this point because from here it is again starting. So that means the time period is, this is the time period which is equal to 2. Time period t is equal to 2. And the technique is that we first of all solve for one uh, initial uh, signal, one period, uh, first period function and we name it uh, different f1t this is ft so we write it f1t for the uh, single function and now we have to define this in mathematically so if you look carefully this function has a uh, um, slope of 2 x axis 1 and y axis 2 so slope is 2 so this if we call it a straight line this is straight line can be written as 2t, um, 2 is the slope and t is the equation, line equation and it can also be written as 2t ut because ut means just 1 after 0 so you can write this as ut. Now to get this one we have to terminate after 2 this point uh, after t is equal to 1 so we have to terminate this that means we have to have a signal similar with opposite slope or negative slope exactly same signal at this point at t is equal to 1. So we draw another signal uh, after this amplitude 2 because after this we want to cancel so from here we are draw, drawing a signal and since slope, slope is same negative 2 now and the time period at our time shifted by 1 so we'll write it as 2t or minus 2t ut minus 1 and now when you add these two the net result will be 0 all the way so we'll be able to get this function now let's write it mathematically so our f1t can now be written as 2t ut which is this function 2t ut minus 2t ut uh, 1 so minus this function or plus minus 2 ut t 1 so this is the second function and now we will try to find the transform of this function so first of all we know that the Laplace transform of t is 1 over s square this you can get from the table that I just showed and also the time shifting property ft minus a ut minus a can be written as e raised to the power minus a s f s now this f s is important f s is the transform of f t not f t minus 1 which is t in this case the so transform of t is 1 over s square which we can plug in here at f s Now, there is a problem here. This function is t ut minus 1, t ut minus 1. We need to bring it to something like this in this form or something like this that we should get t minus 1, ut minus 1. So, how do we achieve this? Let's see. What we do is that with t, this t, we add 1 and subtract 1. So, t minus 1 plus 1 so the net result is t and then we separate this term so this remains here this 2 t minus 1 this portion multiplied by u t minus 1 
and minus minus plus uh, sorry minus plus minus so minus 2 ut minus 1 so this is broken as shown here and now from here we'll apply the formulas we have these formulas this is for the time shifting e minus asfs same here the transform of t is 1 over s square and the transform of ut is 1 over s so plugging in t and uh, ut means just 1 here so we'll just say that the transform of t which is 1 over s square so it is 2 over s square here this is the time shifting property so 2 e raised to the power minus a is now 1 so minus 1 s and fs now fs is the transform of t and transform of t is 1 over s square so 1 over s square now here also minus 2 shifting is minus 1 so e raised to the power minus 1 s and the transform of ut transform of ut is 1 over s this fs is 1 over s now so we write 1 over s here taking common we get this one as f1s so this is the transform of the first period that we had but we have to find out the transform of the complete signal so we'll use this property for the periodicity of the complete function so this is the time uh, periodicity property that a function is periodic ft and t time period t then its transform will be f1s which we have found already here divided by 1 minus e raised to the power minus st and t in our case is 2 so we'll plug in these values to get the answer so 1 over this one 1 minus e raised to the power minus 2s for t we have put in 2 and then f1s so we plug in this here and this can be rearranged so this is the final answer for this question now we'll do the practice this is uh, the periodic function again it's a gate function of amplitude one and now if you look the time period here is t is equal to five because it's starting from here the next is starting from 5 so this all is one time period so time period t is equal to 5 and uh, as before we can draw uh, we'll take one of the of the first uh, period here and try to find the transform of this so we change the name now f1t and now this can be written mathematically as we can take help of this graph the this one is ut so this is ut and it is ending at this point so we have to subtract minus ut or minus u t minus 2 because it is from t is equal to 2 so the addition of these two will be 0 so we'll be able to get this function so we can write that f1 t is ut minus u t minus 2 And now, if you recall, the uh, transform of ut is uh, 1 over s, and the transform of ut minus 2 is again, we uh, apply the transform formula, e raised to the power minus a s, a in this case is 2, so e raised to the power minus 2 s, and capital F s is the transform of ut, that is 1 over s. and so we can rearrange and write it like this now this is the transfer function for f1t or one time period now for the whole function we'll use the periodic function transformation formula as we learned in the previous slide that fs is f1s divided by 1 minus e minus ts now t in the time period so we'll plug in this time period 5 here 
So for F1S, we plug in this value that we had calculated and 1 minus E minus Ts will become 1 minus E minus 5S since T is equal to 5 and we can rearrange and write it uh, neatly. So this is the final answer uh, for this pro practice problem. So I hope you got an understanding as to how to solve this type of a problem. I hope you like my video. Thank you.